China is leading the way with the kind of farming techniques they are using, a technique that uses much less soil and up to 92% less water. Hard to believe? Watch on to know how this works. The way food is grown around the world is undergoing a revolution. Vertical farming stacks crops on top of one another in a climate-controlled indoor facility and employs cutting-edge technology to produce food in the most environmentally friendly manner the world has ever seen. This uses minimal soil and water to produce good quality or even better fruits and vegetables. As soilless indoor farms have become more a popular strategy for combating food insecurity, one academic has a plan to take vertical farming to new heights in China's megacities, the farm scraper. But isn't China a large country that was once dominated by peasants? From 2021 to 2026, the market for vertical farming technologies is expected to grow by 8.52 billion US dollars. Furthermore, the market's growth momentum will accelerate at a CHER of 24.74% during the forecast period. The growing emphasis in lowering farm labor costs is propelling the market forward. Only manual labor is acquired on-site for crop planning and packaging. One of the major costs associated with farming is the cost of access. The cost of laborers spending time on the farm walking, riding scissor lifts, retrieving growing channels, and expecting crops is also included. Vertical farming technology such as zip racks and stacked NFT can help to reduce this cost. Asia Pacific generated the most revenue in 2017, amounting to $835 million, and is expected to lead the global market throughout the forecast period. This is due to the region's rapid population growth, lack of fertile land, strong technical expertise in agricultural practices, and established R&D institutes in China and Japan all contribute to market expansion. Hydroponics, aquaponics, and aeroponics are some of the growing mechanisms used in vertical farming. Hydroponics accounted for the largest share of the global market in 2017, with an estimated value of $1,086 million in 2017, with a CAGR of 23.3% during the forecast period. Hydroponics is a method of plant cultivation in which the traditional soil medium is replaced with a nutrient and mineral-rich water solution. Hydroponics provides advantages such as crop availability throughout the year, faster plant growth, and the elimination of pesticide growth. The market is divided into lighting solutions, sensors, climate control, and hydroponic components based on their offerings. In 2017, lighting solutions held the lion's share of the global market. Lighting solutions are used to create uniform lighting conditions that are conducive to plant growth. Connie Plica Phillips, NV Illumitex Inc., and Everlight Electronics Company Limited are among the market leaders offering lighting solutions for vertical farming. Bright Farms, Agrolution, Everlight Electronics Company Limited, American Hydroponics, Freak Farms, Illumitex Inc., and Vertical Farm Systems are among the well-known companies profiled in the report. These companies launch new products and collaborate with other market leaders to innovate and launch new products in order to meet consumers' growing needs and requirements. In the north of China, there's a new plant factory. This vertical farm grows plants without the use of sunlight, instead using artificial lighting and without the use of soil. The climate conditions in the factory are automatically adjusted based on what the plants require. The farm is large. The total area is 35,000 square meters, of which 3,500 square meters is dedicated to vegetable seedlings, 2,500 square meters to vegetable production, and 3,000 square meters to Chinese medicinal herbs. In fact, this is North China's only large-scale indoor farm. The plant factory has the capacity to produce more than 600,000 seedlings per batch. This is an impressive figure, especially considering the farm produces 12 batches or 64 million seedlings per year. China's next-generation methods are truly leaving the rest of the world in the dust. In a typical farm like that, a computer system gives orders to robots, transportation trolleys, lifting trolleys, and other machines throughout the factory, ensuring that everything runs smoothly. The transportation trolley, rather than workers, picks the crops in a safe and efficient manner. Conveyor lines connect various types of fully automated machines to achieve unmanned sowing, planting, management, and other processes. A tower in China is 218 meters tall and dedicates 10,000 square meters of its surface to growing space. A vertical farm in such a space could produce an estimated 270,000 kilograms of food per year, which would feed 40,000 people. Cultivation, harvest, sale and consumption of the food is intended to take place all within the same building to cut down in supply chain waste and pollution. Whatever you think about indoor farming, it's here to stay, and China has clearly left the world behind with its revolutionary methods. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. 
For more updates in science, innovation, and technological advancements, stay tuned to our channel. And don't forget to like and share this video.